Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Writer. We are back with another unboxing video. This one's coming from Chaosium Inc. Oh boy, it came really fast. I only ordered it a few days ago. I ordered it too late from the way things turned out, which makes me sad, but I will talk about that momentarily. But first, let's go ahead and try to see how easily or how hard we can get this open. Now, Chaosium does a wonderful job with boxing up stuff. They usually double box it. So you don't have to worry too much about damaging your products. Yep, they have in this case too, and they even added some padding, which is very nice. Oh man, okay, this is heavy. Let's see, let's go to phase two. This, I don't know if this is, let's be very careful here, I don't want to damage these. I think that they usually overlap. So, so as to make sure that you don't actually damage your stuff when you're trying to get it open like this. Oh yeah, they do. Perfect. Oh, 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 oh man, this is super, super heavy. Let's see, there is, there's a receipt. All right. So what we have is, oh my God, that thing is nice and heavy. Aqualair and the game director screen. Now I had actually ordered the player's book for Aqualair. This is the the GM guide. It is big. And uh, here's all of the people that were behind it. Uh, but they had run out. They'd run out of players' guides. So I that's all three that were uh, that were actually available. And I got an actual email as well as my refund. I got an email uh, from Dustin from Chaosium, who apologized that we've run out of the hard copies. Because I had the, you get PDFs when you order hard copies on Chaosium. We're going to open both these and we'll take a look at each one. And I said, okay, when do you think this is going to be back in print? He said, I don't know. I don't know if it ever will be. Because I can't remember the reason. I think it had something to do with the, um, the original owners. I, I don't know. Which, this is a Spanish tabletop RPG fantasy. Uh, it takes place in Spain in, I believe, the 13th century. And he was unsure if these would be available in English again. And I was like, well, shoot. He said, we can order it from England, but the shipping is going to be a lot. And I said, okay, thanks. And then I immediately went and ordered it from England. So that should be coming as well. So let's take a look at this book. It is heavy. Nothing on the back to read. So we're just going to delve in. Let's take a sniff. Not much of a smell. Oh, there's the new book smell. There's not much of a smell here at the beginning, but we're going to try to take just a quick and medieval demonic role-playing game. So we're just going to take a quick look at this. This is, there is so much here. Index of boons and banes, index of tables, rituals, spells, introduction to role-playing games. Nice, heavy paper. It's full color. Um, I love that they, they these look like old medieval drawings too. Example of play, uh, Libra 1, Mechanica. All right, so this is character creation, I believe. In the days of yore, free choice method, methods of characters creation, random method, free choice method, creating your character. So I know very little about the, the system, except I believe that it is percentile based and skill based, I think. I do not think there's levels, but again, I'm just guessing. Marriage, is your character married? Good Lord, this is a beautiful book. Choosing traits, boons. I'm actually looking forward to getting into this. This, the fact that this takes place, what we got here? Okay, here's the game system now. This is what is also, this is what is always telling for me. If the game system is like 150 pages, this starts on page, we're gonna say 72, so let's see how long it goes. If a game system covers a ton of pages, then I'm less interested. I like simple rules that are easy to to, um, to explain and to understand. Ars Medica. To 98, 80, 72 to 98, so about 25 pages of rules. That's not bad, actually. Life points, so these are more rules, but, ooh. A little new to be there. Healing. Oh, jeez, this is a heavy book. Hold on. 
There we go. Can you see it pretty well? All right. All right, here's the combat section. So rules are pretty extensive, it looks like. But it looks like they cover a lot of different things, not just one. Weapon stables, nice. Defenses. Oh, okay. Hopefully armor. I always like systems where armor... Metaphysica. So this would be what? Spells and magic? Rationality and irrationality. Gaining and losing RR, IRR. Interesting. That almost seems like it is a kind of a sanity mechanic, which I like. The dangers of magic. So here is the magic of the book. Grimorium. There's a lot of spells here available. And then we go into all of the spells. Spells have expiration, duration, components, preparation, description, RR allowed. Okay, interesting. Like I said, I'm going into this blind. I have the PDF because when you order anything from Chaosium, they give you the PDF for free, which I think is great. Uh, it's like you get bonus stuff. We're only up to the C's. I think we're going to have to... Oh, man. The art is awesome. I'm loving this art. Into the G's. I'm looking for the background. That's what I want. All right, where are we time-wise? This is a long one. This will probably be about a 10 minute video. Although it's only gonna take a few seconds probably to look through the, uh, the, the game director screen. Magic components. Okay, social position. Theologica. Magica, magic versus faith. Oh, there are rituals, okay. So, very, very cool. So priests can cast certain certain things as well. Very nice. God, this is beautiful. Sin and penance. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cosmographia. Oh, okay. This is about hell. Demons. Lesser demons. Okay, so we've got a lot of demons here. Hell spawn. Dragons. Nice, very, very cool. Names of demon elementals. Uh, Angelicum Natura. On the historical nature of angels, okay. So here's the other side of the coin, as far as that goes. Bestiarium, okay, so we've got monsters, creatures to use. Woohoohoohoo! This guy needs a shave. I'm loving this art, I'm sorry. It is some just, some very neat looking, yikes. Oh, wow. The little people, okay, the fae. They're getting them, they have them involved as well. Fantastical animals. Other creatures. Natural animals, oh neat. Eagles, well, very cool. Okay. Uh, medieval things. Crown of Cast. Crown of Castile. Crown of Aragon. Okay, so these are all the sections of Spain where it takes place. Here is dates. I guess it looks like it's 14th, 15th century, actually. I thought it was 13th century, but. Customs. Knights. The reality of evil at night, men of God, universities, cities, towns, villages, hamlets, trade, the road brings forth bread, maritime routes and commercial ports, peasants, the salt of the earth, home. Oh, neat, neat, neat. Okay. I could see actually pairing up a lot of this information with um, Dark Ages, Cthulhu Dark Ages at some point and potentially using that as well. Societies. Okay, so we've got the Inquisition. This is taking... <laughs> I didn't ex make, mean to make this so long, but... Uh, Anatema Brotherhood. Several different secret societies, or possibly the dramatic arts. Oh, okay, and this is GM advice, it looks like. The rules, the adventures, atmosphere, vision of Aquilaire. Tales. So we also have... Cave of Bats. All right, so this, is this a solo adventure? Choose your own adventure. There's a solo adventure in the back. Okay. So that can help the GM to actually get used to some of these rules. This is long. Oh, it's just a solo adventure. Wait, no. Nope. Tale of Shadows. And then we've got, there's a short adventure. 
Love letter to a book. They're quoting Terry Pratchett. The world was full of old men. The world was full of old men. Now it is full of young people. So there it looks like there's another scenario here. Yeah. Appendices. So this is going to be... Okay, there's equipment. Oh, that's nice. Appendices with a lot of the charts and information, which is always super useful. Names. Okay. Impact locations. Battles. And some last words. There's a character sheet. Here is a map. A map of Spain. Very nice. Got the character sheet. A couple character sheets. And that's it. Very cool. This is a this is a hefty. Let's see how many pages we've got. For the appendix appendices. Uh, 563. 565. 567 pages. Wow. Let's take a quick look at the game director's screen. Now this is a, a tall one. Oh, but it's four paneled. Wow. Charts, combat summaries, RRIRR gains, natural healing, life points, weapons, armor, shields. Very cool. And on the opposite side, we have got a very, very cool looking. This is a cool looking screen. I like this screen a lot. The height is gonna be nice. And so is the width. So there you have it. That is the Aquilaire. Uh, which book is this? What do they actually call this? This is just Aquilaire. So this is basically the main game book and the game director's screen. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time.